Hi there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So grateful to have you here today. Thank you for taking the time for your relationship with God and just a way to center your day and start it off well. We are in Matthew chapter 18, continuing, and we're actually going to finish this chapter today, verses 23 through 35 in the Common English Bible. This is what it says. Jesus said, not just seven times, so we're referring back to yesterday when he said 70 times seven, um, but it's 77 times, and um, it says, uh, verse 23 says, therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle accounts, they brought him to a servant who owed him 10,000 bags of gold. Because the servant didn't have enough to pay it back, the master ordered that he should be sold along with his wife and children and everything he had and that the proceeds should be used as payment. But the servant fell down, kneeled before him and said, please be patient with me and I'll pay you back. The master had compassion on that servant, released him and forgave the loan. When that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him 100 coins. He grabbed him around the throat and said, Pay me back what you owe me. Then his fellow servant fell down and begged him, Be patient with me and I'll pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he threw him into prison until he paid back his debt. When his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply offended. They came and told their master all that had happened. His master called the first servant and said, You wicked servant. I forgave you all that debt because you appealed to me. Shouldn't you also have mercy on your fellow servant, just as I had mercy on you? His master was furious and handed him over to the guard responsible for punishing prisoners until he had paid the whole debt. My heavenly Father will also do the same to you if you don't forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Mind if I pray for you. Lord Jesus, thank you for this story, and it is so poignant and it's easy to put ourselves in the hero's version of the story, like, oh, um, we're like the master who forgives greatly, or we're like the second servant who begged um, to be forgiven of the small debt. But sometimes, Lord, in fact, I think the reason you shared this parable was that we would put ourselves in the um, frustrating servant's shoes because this is what we do so often. We receive this great amount of forgiveness from you. It cannot be listed. It's an impossible debt. This The debt between us and you is, is we cannot bridge it. We cannot pay it. It is impossible. But you and your graciousness have canceled that debt. We no longer have the certificate of debt of sin over us, um, canceling us out. But you have canceled that debt. And um, we can walk freely now because of what you have done on the cross. And then um, when someone has an offense uh, or, or we have um, a, someone who owes us something, so to speak, uh, we will just go to any length not to forgive that debt. And so Lord, help us to find ourselves in this story. Um, but also remember that the, uh, the one who owed a little bit asked for mercy and um, that that this part of the story is that we need to go to you and ask for forgiveness. And in this story, the other person also asked for forgiveness. So I know for me, as a sexual abuse survivor, there have been times where people have prescribed to me my forgiveness journey and said, well, you have to forgive on my timetable. And um, that's happened to a lot of people where they will say, well, you know, it's been seven weeks since you disclosed you need to forgive. And if you're not, you're out of God's will. Well, this forgiveness journey is a long journey. It's a process. And it is important that we long to forgive, um, that we get to that place. But sometimes we're so traumatized and so broken um, that the, the Holy Spirit will lead us on a longer um, forgiveness journey than maybe we anticipated. And it may not... Um, it may not fit into somebody else's timeline, Lord, so help us to be okay on that journey, to trust you for the forgiveness journey, and to remember that the second servant asked to be forgiven the debt, and a lot of times in these sexual abuse situations, the person doesn't ask for forgiveness. In fact, they're unrepentant, and so that makes things a little more complicated. So Lord, help us to, to understand the nuance of that, but the principle of this whole story is that we've been forgiven much, 
and so we can forgive. Now, forgiving someone, Lord, we know doesn't mean that we that justice doesn't happen. It doesn't mean we pardon. It means that we, in our heart, let go of the anger that we have toward that person and we move on with our lives. Justice to, can still happen in the midst of forgiveness. So thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you want to support the podcast, go to patreon.com slash pray every day. Such a blessing. Thank you to all the patrons who have helped this podcast thrive. And there's lots of different levels and you can check them out. You can uh, support as little as $1 a month, so $12 a year. um, And that helps keep the show on the air. So thanks so much. Have a great day.